Hey guys, welcome back to another SAF gameplay video on the test server. As a refresher, the test server just added over 50 new units, uh, most of them free. And today we're going to be exploring a fun build with one of those fun free new units. Um, <laughs> once again, I uh, was not expecting to make another test server video, but uh, it's just been so much fun. I, I really can't stop myself and... If I'm having this much fun, I might as well share it with you guys. But yeah, as you can see, I have the best start in all of Super Auto Pets, which is five Cuddle Toads. Um, the, the ranked people and all the professional SAT players definitely agree with me that this is the best start you can have in Super Auto Pets. But no, so we're going to use only one new pet this time around, which is a bit of a bummer because there's so many new ones that are very fun. But... Uh, we will be going for a roll build. Uh, now, I'm not sure if any directly like roll pets have been added, but there's one that synergizes really well. But yeah, uh, here we are grabbing some Bigfoot. Now, you'll notice it's wearing a construction hat. That's a little thing I've been doing when I'm going for specific builds, is turning off hats on all other pets and then the pets that I'm trying to cook with or build, you know, build with, I'm giving it a specific hat so that it's easier for me to spot. So you can tell that Bigfoot is one of the first things that I'm really after. And if you see more hats in the shop, you can expect about the same. And there's our second, that is Ouroboros. Now Ouroboros in the last balance update, I believe, just got a uh, buff that makes it a bit stronger. Uh, but essentially what it does is every time you roll, it gives plus one, plus one temporary stats. I think it's plus one, plus one. Don't quote me. To uh, pets in the shop. And those temporary stats obviously only last for one turn. Uh, as you can see there, the big foot going down, I believe. Uh, this is a very niche use. It's I, I would be lying if I said it's easy to use or even that valuable but there is one occasion that we'll get to with one of these new pets that really works speaking of new pets there's the goblin shark it sure loves a uh, goblin we actually were really close to winning that as not close as it looks i have mixed opinions on that but i won't talk about the goblin shark right now because we are rolling uh it's pretty much a slot machine right now i do grab a worm of sand just because I might as well get an extra 4-4 this turn. And I freeze the, I almost called it a Hyenodon, because it's, whatever. It's an Andrew Sarkis, Sarkis? I think it's Sarkis. Uh, Andrew Sarkis, it is a new tier four unit with a very unique ability, which at the end of turn, eats the shot pet below it and takes 50%, 100%, or 150% of that pet's stats. Which, if you see me stacking up this Ouroboros, um, even with 50% here, that's 4-4 four, four for him for that turn. And yeah, the plan here is kind of just who needs real stats. I, I, I do say that, scaling stuff. But I'm using Worm of Sand, so is it really scaling? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the goal here is two uh, of those guys. Uh, something that makes rolls better. Hamster earned its construction hat. I feel bad I didn't give it to it. But, uh, I mean, isolate all of those pets in the shop are quite valuable now. And now I should be able to get up to the max seven rolls uh, pretty reliably here, which uh, is quite a nice amount of stats. There we go, beating a goblin shark team. If goblin shark, the idea is it removes your pets and then you have to it's like a gamble because it's really barely valuable at all in a lot of situations if you uh if you don't beat the team before your goblin shark is knocked out because then it's kind of just removing it from the picture for a little bit that's why i mean it's a very interesting pet um probably gonna be a very divisive one though you can see here now i am Loading up on Andrew Sarkis. Here's a level two. That's 100% of those the stats in the shop being added to that pet every turn. Quite handy. 
I'm trying to say super, super, I'm trying not, sorry, I'm trying not to say super, super strong over and over again. Um, my commentary in my last video, I guess because I have to sit and watch and edit it, really bugged me. We're going to lose this. That's a pretty unfortunate spot for their uh, really large unit. I think different order of them, we might have won that, but I mean, they had melon too. Which, by the way, I do believe I roll past two melons. Like, I, I think I rolled double melon, which is something that I really should have looked for, and I think I'm going to roll past that, or maybe that was a different game, I can't entirely remember. But, yeah, now these are pretty nice units. It's as if they've been scaled. Um, and we're winning. Isn't that nice? Uh... This build can really go off the rails pretty fast with more Ouroboros or buying more units per turn. Because if you see here, I'm combining the hamster, which allows me to uh, get those temporary stats on the hamster for that turn. You can see here all these temporary stats. All of my big units have stats that are uh, temporary, my top three. And this here is a little bit scary, but I do believe we end up winning here. And yeah, it's a, this is a cool build. I forgot to mention. My gosh, I'm glad I mentioned. This is from Queen Winja on Discord. That is on the SAP official Discord. I'm like, doesn't Andrew Sarkis look kind of horrible? Doesn't it seem like a really bad pet? And uh, they were like, uh, how about trying it with Ouroboros? And then I did it. Uh, and it, I loved it so much, made a video out of it. Here... I'm just showing a fail. You can see this is a much stronger version of the build, but unfortunately I had the I had my attack order wrong. So I didn't get what I needed out of <laughs> I didn't get any stats in the first one, so I end up losing even though it was a really easy one to win. But yeah, that's all. Uh have a good day.